enjoy talking about our culture to different people so different people just don't know. They hear a little bit on TV, but they get the wrong idea on those Western shows and different things. But I'm a full-blooded uh, Native American, and I could trace my ancestors way, way back. Pawa, what it means to me is getting together, and it's also spiritual, fun time, and uh, getting back. It's almost like you would say a family reunion. You meet uh, old friends, and your relatives are there. You meet new friends, and so, and like I'm on the powwow trail, a lot of times I'll meet a lot of these people on the same trail or something like that. But the powwow means to me it's spiritual. There is a spiritual in it. This is a wigwam. It comes from the word wigwaz, birch bark. For home, so it's a bark home. The poles are made of willow. As you see, they're arched over to igloo fashion. And uh, for a summer camp, we'll be using cattail mats to wrap around it and the uh, trade cloth canvas for the roof. But a structure like this would house a family of up to four or five the kids. And it's portable, movable. Uh, you can roll up the sides, be it bark or rush mat. And uh, pole frames could be left where they stood, like the fishing camp in the spring, the sugar maple camp in the fall, or the, in the spring, the hunting camps in the fall. And uh, quite warm, you can double insulate the walls. Build a small fire inside too. Art song. It's inspired by the spirit of the moment. Every song I play is a different song. No two are ever alike. Every one is uh, individual. It's uh, based on the emotions I have at the time, the way uh, what can, the general condition of my health and, and such. You see, the flute's and he it's a healing instrument, and uh, your heart always knows what song you need to play for the healing that you need at the time you play it. So, I mean, that's what that's what we believe about this. Music. There you go. I belong to the Three Fires Maday Society. Maday Society has been with our people ever since our Creator put us on this Mother Earth, and He gives us teachings that He wants us to live by. And that's what he that's how he wants us to live. And all those teachings, everything in this powwow circle here comes from the Maday Society. And it was banned for a while by the federal government. And until nineteen seventy eight is when we were able to bring it back out of the woods again. But our our grandfathers took care of that. They kept those teachings and they passed those teachings on the way they were supposed to. And everything that happens here comes from that Maday society.